Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my Unity tutorials. So today I'm going to be showing you how to basically make a hue shift on your avatar. Uh, this means that you can hue shift your emissions to any other color via the 3.0 menu. It's relatively easy to do, so let me show you how to do it. So first thing we're going to do is you want to click on your avatar. And um, if you don't see an FX controller in your controller, scroll down and extend playable layers and then select this FX controller. And then you're just going to basically drag that FX controller up on that controller. Now you can select it and open it. Head over to parameters, hit a plus, and we're going to do a float. Now scroll down. And in my case, I'm going to name it Hue Shift. You can name it to whatever you want, but be sure to copy this name because it's really important. Next, we're actually going to create the animation. So you want to make sure you have avatar selected and then go animation. Hit on this little window here and then create or scroll down and then create new clip. And you're just going to name it uh, whatever you named it in the parameters. In my case, it's the Hue Shift. Now, basically, you're going to hit play and you want to double click double tap on your avatar so that it's orange and then basically you want to find its body textures here um if you uh you, i would suggest that you unlock it because you otherwise you can't work on the shader scroll down to your emissions that would be in the special fx emissions and then emissions uh right click next to your hue shift when it's checked and me uh, and be sure to hit the first option that you get so now that you have it enabled, basically you just want to, uh, as the as your first animation, you're going to drag this hue shift to the right and then back to the uh, left. Uh, and then in this little window here, you want to type in 100 and then do it again, but only do it, drag it to the right and then leave it there. Now you have to do this for literally every piece of your avatar that has uh, emissions on it. Uh, in my case, let's say uh, one thing you might run into uh, I duplicated the this wing, so you can't animate only the this material. You have to click on this side here and then do the same thing, and basically uh, on the just basically do this on every area of your avatar. If you for some reason don't know how to add emissions, I made a video on how to create emissions. It's relatively easy to do, and you're gonna have that dragged in into your first emission slot with this box enabled here, and then basically you're gonna do the same thing. Uh, be sure to whenever you whenever you drag this thing to the right, be sure to drag this little uh, line back to the zero, and then uh, it's gonna be zero here again. And then once you you know drag it to the right, then drag it back to the left. You wanna type in a hundred, drag it only to the right, and then that's it. So basically, that is uh, your animation. If you hit on play and then preview, you're gonna go back to your regular T pose. If we select our avatar. And if you right click, see it's animated when locked. That's what you want next to the hue shift and hue shift under it. So those are the things you need to add on all of your materials. Otherwise, the animation is not going to work. So after you have your animation ready, you're going to head over to your project and find where your animation is. If you cannot find it, you can simply type it in here and, and you will find it. So now what we're going to do is you want to head over to your animator, head over to layers, create a new layer. Name it the same as you named it everywhere, and then make sure to wait that weight is set to one. Now in this little window here, you want to drag your animation, and then you will see this orange box. Click on it, where it says motion time, hit the parameter so that it's checked, and then next to it, make sure you have your animation set. Also select your avatar and be sure that the loop time is off. Next, what we're going to do is you want to click on your avatar, scroll down to the parameters, you want to scroll up, add a parameter, and then name it the same thing. Make sure that it's set to float here. And also make sure that this box here is uh, checked. This means basically if you change your hue shift to, to one color and then switch VRChat worlds, it's going to keep that hue shift. Then you want to find your expressions menu. You just click, click select your avatar, scroll down, and then it will be above the parameters. You want to add a control, hue shift. Name it here, hue shift. Type it's ragdoll puppet. And then you will see two parameters. We're going to ignore the first parameter and then select the second one and then basically select a hue shift float, the animation that you created. Before uploading your avatar, make sure you select your avatar and then in the controller, you hit this little circle here, scroll up and select none. This will avoid any issues caused by the actual animation. And that is pretty much it. You're ready to upload your avatar. And now in VRChat, if you go to your expressions and hue shift, you see that it should work. 
you can switch to any other color that it's provided in the hue shift. And then to just leave it on the color, you just want to select the trigger or mouse one on the special color and it will stick with to that color. And if you have any issues, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll answer them or reach to me on my Discord. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.